Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. It is very clear that Chelsea are not yet done when it comes to making big-name first-team signings this summer. After adding the likes of Kiernan Dewsbury Hall and Tosin Adarabayoyo to their ranks, it seems as if a striker is now high on the list for players the club want to bring in ahead of Enzo Maresca's first campaign as manager. Mark Yu has impressed many supporters with his performances in pre-season so far. However, the name of Samuel Merodian has refused to go away as a potential transfer target. Take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are bumping here for the very first time. Chelsea fans not convinced by signing Samuel Merodian. Recent reports have stated that the Blues are very advanced in discussions over bringing him in from Atletico Madrid, as they close in on the addition of Conor Gallagher. Chelsea fans are certainly not convinced that the young striker is the best piece of business the club could be doing right now, Point one user said. If you think Nicholas Jackson is raw, then you ain't ready for Omarodian. Another added, I'm sorry but Chelsea funding Atletico Madrid move for Alvarez while we sign Omarodian makes me miss Roman Abramovich. A third claimed, Omarodian, just so another club can funds to get Julian Alvarez. This is the problem. Another stated, We are living in an era where Julian Alvarez is available, but Chelsea prefer to purchase Samu Omarodian. This is the new Chelsea, for the time being at least. Finally, one said, Samu Omarodian, the unicorn profile that supposedly has world-class potential yet at Letico are fine with letting him go to get Alvarez and no other club is bidding for him apart from us. Julian Alvarez was reportedly admired by the club, However, it looks as if the high transfer fee is putting them off a deal for him at this stage. IT remains to be seen whether this potential deal is going to bring an end to their interest in signing Victor Osman, with him cropping back up as a potential option after a more affordable deal became a prospect. This may well have a domino effect on Romelu Lukaku's potential reunion with Antonio Conte at Napoli, with those two deals very much seeming interlinked at this stage. The next few days look as if they are going to be crucial when it comes to the striker situation at Stamford Bridge next season. What's your take on Chelsea new owners? Are we experiencing the end to a giant who caused ripples in England for two decades? That's up to you to decide. Like and subscribe. See you later with another one. Till then goodbye.